Good morning, Barons. On today's episode, we'll check out a promo for Once Upon a Prom. Go pimp out some meals at Amp Pizza. And get hyped for a junior banquet. I'm Abby Hopkins. And I'm Jay Zimmert. And, and you're, you're watching, watching BCC TV. Okay, Abby, what's going on in the news this week? Last week, Snapchat's value and stock decreased once again. This happened after Rihanna tore into the app because of an ad for the mobile game, Would You Rather, that said, Would You Rather Slap Rihanna or Punch Chris Brown? Penridge High School, located in Pennsylvania, issued detentions to more than 200 students who walked out of school as part of the nationwide protest against gun violence last week. The 225 students were reprimanded because they walked out of school instead of attending an in-house assembly remembering the 17 killed at Douglas High School in Florida. Students at our school participated in the nationwide walkout and our school-led walkout last week. Here are some clips from the walk. unacceptable in America for students to be slaughtered in their schools. It is wrong in America for people to go to concerts and end up in carnage. We should have universal background checks. And it's common sense that we should get the assault rifles and the banana clips off the streets. Yeah. Yeah. We need action and not talk. Yeah. 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 And we need laws, not nice thoughts and prayers. Yeah. Yeah. We need safety and security, yeah. not safe talking points that yeah. secure people's yeah. re-election. All across this country, People are sick and tired of gun violence, and the time is now for all of us together to stand up to the NRA and to pass common sense gun legislation. So I just, I just want to thank all of you for your courage and for your intelligence and for leading the nation in the right direction. Thank you all. In BCC news, tomorrow marks the first day of spring break. Make sure you don't come back to school until April 3rd. The following Monday after we return, April 9th, is a half day for all grades. The junior banquet will be held again on April 13th at Maggiano's Little Italy Friend in Friendship Heights. Here's a quick promo to get all of 19 excited. Looking to try some new pizza toppings but can't step away from the plain cheese pizza? Well, lucky for you, Max, X, and Ish are here to try it for you. What's up, guys? I'm Max. This is X. I'm Ish. This is Pit My Meal. We're at Ann Pizza. Let's go make some pizza. This week on Pit My Meal, 
Xavier and Ishmael will be competing to create the most disgusting pizza for the other one to eat. Let's get into it. I got high expectations for this, guys. Can I get uh, ancient grain dough? That and then French onion reduction. I'm gonna get some, some tomatoes, broccoli. You know, you gotta stay healthy. Like Bodex, it. You like meatballs? No. Can I get some meatballs? <laughs> uh, put an egg on there. Ew! <laughs> That's dirty. <laughs> no, I can't eat that. You can't eat vegan sausage? No. It's not real meat. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't understand why you put jalapenos on pizza, bro. Like, who does that? Because it's your pizza. Yeah, That's why he's going to punish you. All right, let's get it. Okay, so let's do your big review, and then I want you to give me a name for that one. <laughs> wow. Punish, that's the name for it. Punish. So let's get an emoji that you would associate with that pizza. <laughs> the poop emoji. The poop emoji? You're disgusting. <laughs> Good. Wait, wait, wait. Name. Nasty Daddy. Nasty Daddy, alright. You see that? Oh my god. Bruh. And then emoji, an emoji you associate you know, with. You know that. the new emoji with like the throw up? It's like this. Oh uh, yeah, that emoji. That emoji is nasty. Yeah, Alright, so we did we did their naming. Now it's time to get eaten. <laughs> okay, so we just got up to the spot. All right, nice table. Um, got the drinks and everything popping. We're about to get into these first bites. Now, what I gotta say before we start is that both of you guys are gonna have to eat at least one slice of both pizzas. That's that's what we're doing here. So I punished this thing on purpose so I didn't have to eat it. Ish ordered first, so X gets the first bite. <laughs> um, wow, that's. This is awful. <laughs> you can't taste much on it. There's too much to taste. So how do you think? It, how do you think you did right there, based on what he just said about your pizza? What do you think that? I think I did kind of bad because he likes it. Let's see how his pizza compares. I don't want to eat this, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he took a big bite. Whoa. <laughs> you gotta eat a whole slice of it. <laughs> I can't, bro. <laughs> but you have to too, that's the thing. I know. <laughs> so you might be laughing right now, but you're gonna have to stay face to him in a little second. <laughs> it went in that. I can't. But now it's time for him to try his own pizza. <laughs> oh, 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 it's a little weak right there. No, I can't do it. Brian's just busy. That was good. Oh, that was good. Just for the boys back at home. <laughs> Ew, he ate half of it. Ew. <laughs> He's taking big boy bites, though. Big He's boy bending him half, and I still ate a whole slice. That's true. Uh -huh. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna swallow it, bro. <laughs> so for this round, round one of Pimp My Meal and Pizza Edition, the winner is Xavier. <laughs> nah, 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 man, nah. <laughs> it's been a great round of and pizza, round one, round two coming to you soon, Subway hopefully. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> Hopefully you guys will receive some sort of compensation with an Ann Pizza sponsorship. Spring sports are just now kicking off. What's new with Baron Athletics this week, Maya and Joe? Nothing, again. The start of the baseball season got snowed out. Their opening game against Blair got moved to this Saturday at 4 p.m. BCC is also predicted to win the 4A South Division title this year, so make sure to go out and support these Barons. Several athletes at BCC were named All-Star Mets by the Washington Post, including Gavik Andrew, Adam Nakasaka, Caitlin Clendenin, Maddie Fath, and Jillian Berger. Congratulations to all these outstanding Barons. 
also shout out to all our teams who showed up at the mulch sale last Saturday at 7 o'clock in the morning. Well, that's all for this week, Barons. Back to you, Avi and Jay. Thanks for that, Maya and Joe. Well, that's all for this week, Barons. Check back in next Friday for more news, updates, and humor. Keep those standards high, BCC. And keep the obsessive spring break flexing low. I'm Abby Hopkins. And I'm Jay Zimmer. And, and we're, we're signing, signing off. off. On today's episode, we take down the corrupt North Korean government from the inside.